All right, hey, if you want to uh, learn all that you can about REAP, the REAP program, and improving your habitat, this is the episode for you. Stay with us because we've got Nate Raw from the USDA with us. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and, and being a steward of the land. like what these two dumbasses are doing please hit the like button and subscribe today welcome to midwest hunting and outdoors by two dumbasses we have nate raw here from usda and we're here to talk about reap yeah the definitely. reap program the reap program so we've talked about equip now we're going to go into reap and that's kind of they can work hand in hand sometimes and just of I'm interested in something but maybe it fits reap a little bit better than it does equip so EQIP is the federal program, REAP is the state program, where that's actual Iowa money that they're using for, specifically, REAP is more geared towards the habitat type programs, forestry, uh, the native prairie plantings, or food, food plots within that, stuff like that. And so EQIP is definitely more encompassing and it's definitely a more involved process because we went through that. We're going to come in. We're going to sign up. It's going to probably take you a year or two before you get in. REAP is different in that you're going to come in and say, okay, I'm interested in habitat here. And if we have money available, then we're going to say, okay, we're going to get you into the program. So it, it's a little bit easier to get into versus the EQIP because you have to go through the ranking. So REAP is a you know, first come, first serve. And so that makes it easier for some projects just because if you're a guy say we talked about this before i want to get this done i know i work where i want to put it and i don't want to wait a whole year to get it done so then okay i have money available in reap it fits for the program uh all i have to do is get it approved by our county board or county commissioners because we have the money available and you're in so what's the cycle for reap money the state programs are all uh, starting on July 1st. Okay. So when they give us our funds each year, that comes out July 1st. It's just a little bit different funding cycle because uh, federal is October 1st to September 30th. State is July 1st to June 30th. And so that, that is a little bit confusing <laughs> to have the two different things. But so if you're looking at REAP, July 1st is when the money comes in. Now, if we have money all the way up to June 15th and it's still available, we'll go for it. What's, what's left uh, if there is any, okay. but it, it can sometimes go very quick. It just okay. depends on what it is that they're looking at. So, so I mean, just as long as we're talking about time frames, what, yeah. what's kind of the best case scenario? Is it best weeks, case scenario? Uh, a couple months. Yeah. Because you're going to come in and say, this is where I want to do it. We're going to put it on the map still come up with plans on on what you actually need to do because you're still using nrcs standards you still have to meet all of that just the same but uh you're not having to wait for it for like the equip so you're gonna do all that get the maps get all that stuff ready if the money's available we have to take it through our soil water conservation district they will say okay yes we're going to approve the funds for this or no, we're not going to approve the funds. If there's something that they, they think needs to be addressed with it. I, I haven't had any where they're say, say, no, we're not going to okay. you know, do it. So they'll approve it. And then if you fit within the time frame, say, okay, I can do a prairie planting between, you know, this date and this date. I mean, it could be the next month you're out there planting it and, then you're getting the payment, you know, a few weeks very after that. Very slick. That's yeah. pretty slick. Yeah. yeah, it can be it can be very quick, but sometimes it can take a little bit longer. Just yeah, it depends on yep. the, on the purpose. Say if you're doing forestry stuff, we still have to have a forestry plan. So you're going to have to get with Jeremy, get the tree plan, or, or you know, am I doing tree plantings? Whatever. You're going to have to be working with him. So it might take a little bit longer for something like that versus you know a one and done prairie planting. Okay. What, um, you know, generally speaking, what, what should I be thinking as a hobby farmer, as a yeah. habitat, you know, hunter kind of right. developer, how might REAP program help me? 
Again, I think it's very similar to Equip. To Equip. Yeah, yeah. It's it's almost exactly the same, other than it it is very um, specific on the practices, like tree plantings, forest stand improvement, prairie plantings, um, brush management, that type of stuff. Um, wind breaks. Actually, we do a, quite a few wind breaks, even just like a. That's the one thing where we can work with a per person that's a non-agricultural producer and, and actually get it to qualify for doing a windbreak along a house. Um, those type of projects. Um, they don't get into like the terraces and the was or basins. Sorry, I want to say wascob, which is our technical term. Basins, uh, ponds through, through REAP. Okay. So uh, I do have a, a targeted question. Mm -hmm. So waddles. Are you familiar, familiar with waddles? You might have to give me a definition. So waddles, so like I have creek uh, banks. Mm -hmm. And one practice that, I, that I've done a lot of research in is these waddles. Okay. And there's different kinds. But think of it as a mat of, okay. a mat of uh, let's say, nine bark. Nine yeah. bark or willows, yep. et cetera. Mm -hmm. And they're live cuttings. And you basically can purchase them and and stake them right into a bank mm -hmm. and they'll take off and, mm -hmm. and improve that bank uh, erosion capability. Yep. Um, yeah. Would that be, could I, would that be part of like a reap program or an equip program? It'd probably be more of an equip type deal as opposed to reap. Uh, yeah. That one's more like a stream bank stabilization type project and they don't do that with reap. Um, and that one's a little bit different. Yeah, I, I don't think we've done one here. I've heard of like stuff like where they do like uh, willows along yep. banks, especially I've heard, I think out in Colorado where they'll do that or cottonwoods along the bank. You just yeah, stick them all in there and yep. then you're putting all that root mass in there and getting that soil erosion control. Um, but that's more like stream bank. So it doesn't really fit into REAP as much. So now that might be something, because that's a long-term project. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's hmm. a little bit more involved. Uh, that be a question whether I have to, like, get the engineer involved and stuff like that or not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting stuff. I, oh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> we've talked about a lot of different programs. My question is, there, yeah, there's, yeah, that alphabet, alphabet suit, there's so many different programs out there, and, and we, we've barely kind of scratched the surface on them, you know, so... You know, if you're interested in any of it, come to the office, say, this is what I want to do. Does it fit with what you guys have for programs? Sometimes and most times it does, but there's a few things that don't. That just, you're doing stuff that we have never done, that we just don't have something, a practice that actually fits. Or sometimes you're just doing something above and beyond what we have and it just, it again, it doesn't fit, <laughs> you know? so. In general, though, we have something that will probably work for what you're wanting to do. You know, the, the one thing I think in closing with regards to the REAP, I mean, from what I heard you tell me is, is if the money is available, mm -hmm. and I use the word instantaneous loosely. <laughs> right, uh, right, Lo loosely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, within, if it's a solid plan in two to three months, you could be up and going. Yeah. Definitely. That's Definitely. a that's a big advantage. That's a that's a benefit of doing the REAP program. And and the other benefit of doing the REAP program that we didn't talk about with the equip is if for some reason you can't get the project done, weather or whatever, and or just your money runs out, whatever, uh, you can get out of that program fairly easily. Equip is a little bit more of a process um, to get out of because certain situations do qualify other situations don't so it's a little bit more of a benefit sometimes for to do the reap program for folks interesting yeah interesting my experience with reap only is just kind of you know driving down the road you see signs mm -hmm. this yeah the habitat's been you know planted, through planted reap. by through yeah. reap. And it, it seems to be a lot of pheasant habitat yeah. or that type Qu of habitat. quite a bit of that Quail. and, and we I would say around here, I see a lot more of the forestry stuff is what we work with, with REAP. It just, it, Jeremy has a plan or the district forester has a plan and they're, they're like, here, this fits into REAP really well. And we're like, okay, there's money available and get it in. Uh, and so we use a lot of it on that. And prairie plantings, there's quite a few around, but I haven't seen as many lately. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't have any questions, Tim. I don't either. Yeah. Nope, this is cool. great. Nathan, just, uh, you know, thank you again. Yeah, thank um, you for having me. Yeah. This has been wonderful. Been, oh, been a ton of knowledge <laughs> and a great conversation. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you ever have questions or stuff that you're wanting to do, definitely come to the office and we'll help you out wherever we can. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Until then, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.